For fun, I put the Nancy Drew game titles through a randomizer on my computer. Here are the results. I got 16 randomly generated Nancy Drew game titles. Just for fun, I'm gonna make up stories for them. Number one, Danger in Ashes. Alibi in Ashes mixed with Danger by Design. Nancy's accused of a crime in Paris. She has to prove her innocence by capturing the real culprit. That could work, I would play that game. Alternately, it's a more dangerous version of Alibi in Ashes. If I remember correctly, Alibi in Ashes didn't have any death scenes, just game over scenes. So let's say the culprit is actively trying to kill Nancy and her friends, rather than just trying to frame Nancy. The Phantom of Shadow Island sounds like a great game. I would totally play it. It sounds like Danger on Deception Island, only it's a scary monster game, not a whale-watching game. Nancy goes to the mysterious Shadow Island, where a creepy phantom's causing problems. She has to figure out the culprit's sinister plot before she becomes the phantom's next victim. Doesn't that sound like a great game? The story practically writes itself. Creek of Darkness. The title sounds kind of dumb. It's White Wolf of Icicle Creek meets Sea of Darkness, which might work because both games involve a lot of snow and cold. Everyone accuses the wolf of kidnapping Magnus during the annual Fox and Geese Festival. No, okay, never mind. It, those games don't fit together. Here's a better Creek of Darkness story. There's a scary creek. Anyone who falls into it dies. It's so deadly that the nearby town has forbidden anyone from ever using it. But when rumors stir up that somebody's using the gold mine at the base of the creek, Nancy's brought in to investigate. Warnings of Castle Danger. That sounds kind of silly, but it also sounds good. That could be an alternate title for Haunting a Castle Malloy. Castle Danger has all sorts of traps and puzzles that Nancy must solve. The culprit sends her threats and warnings, but she ignores them and powers through until she finds the castle's treasure. Ransom in a haunted danger, that makes no sense to me. What even is a haunted danger? I guess the game's Ransom of the Seven Ships meets Haunted Carousel meets Stay Tuned for Danger. <laughs> what a weird combination of games that is. Let's say, the soap opera's filming an episode at the Haunted Carousel. Rick Arlen is kidnapped while riding the roller coaster, the culprit forces Nancy to solve Miles' riddles to find the jewels hidden in the lost carousel horse, in exchange for Rick's safe return. Ranch of the Lost Manor. I'm totally down for Blackmore Manor and Secret of Shadow Ranch pushed together. Blackmore Manor mysteriously disappeared 200 years ago. It's known as the Lost Manor. Today, Cowboy Dave is planning to open a ranch where Blackmore once was, but there have been a series of mysterious accidents. Nancy has to solve an old scavenger hunt to find the lost manor and get the treasure inside before the culprit does. The Deadly Curse Can Kill. That's a pretty straightforward title. If something kills people, then it's deadly. You could apply this title to any of the curse games or the murder mystery games. In this case, the title is Captive Curse, Deadly Device, and Secrets Can Kill. Let's say, one of the characters in the Captive Curse is murdered, while the Paseo del Mar high schoolers are visiting the castle for a field trip. They try to catch the monster in a Faraday cage, and Deirdre Shannon makes fun of Nancy the whole time. There, that's a story with all three games. The Shattered Message. I would make an original story for this. I don't think it works to have the message in a haunted mansion broken up, because the message was a threatening warning. Why would you rip that into pieces? That wouldn't help. So, an original story. Let's say an important message was ripped into pieces, and they were all hidden in different spots. Nancy has to find them and recreate the message. You know, your basic scavenger hunt that Nancy does in a lot of the various games. Spy Canyon Medallion. Sounds awesome, but also kind of weird. Nancy has to go to Spy Canyon to find a medallion. The problem is that the spies set up a complicated puzzle to hide its location. Spies are tricky like that, and honestly that sounds just like Last Train to Blue Moon Canyon. Just, there's a medallion somewhere in the game. I'd rather have a medallion than those creepy dolls. Those dolls are creepy. Secret Hand Ships does not make sense. Maybe it should be Secret Handshakes? No, that doesn't even sound better. Secret Hand Ships, it's, it's just weird. What if... There are hand-painted miniature ships, you know, and they were hidden as a secret. It, no, this is dumb. I would not play that game. 
Stay tuned for Trail. <laughs> this is so silly sounding. Like it's an advertisement for Trails. I know how much you love your hiking trails, everyone, and you're disappointed there were none in the last game. Well, stay tuned for Trail! We now have more trails than ever. This would be Trail the Twister meets Stay Tuned for Danger. Both games are sabotage mysteries, so it totally works to combine them. Just take the cooler sabotage incidents and just have a game with those ones. Labyrinth Carousel. Labyrinth of Lies meets the Haunted Carousel. Both games involve art forgery, so it works. Our villain is secretly making copies of carousel horses while they're being used as props in a terrible play. The play has a giant set which spins around several times that changes up the puzzles and makes it harder to navigate. It would be great to see Ingrid Corey try to psychoanalyze Thanos, and it would be awkward to see Gregor try to flirt with Joy Trent. The Haunting of the Crystal Clock. That sounds like a good game. There's a clock that's made out of crystal. It's haunted by the ghost of Bruno Bole. Nancy needs to deliver telegrams and play miniature golf with glass eyeballs in order to pacify the ghost. Maybe not the best game ever, but still pretty decent. Lake of Lies in Salem. Sounds good. I'm sure people would have liked Midnight in Salem much better if it was more like Ghost Dogs and Moon Lake. There are rumors of a secret coven of witches meeting by the lakeside cemetery. Nancy takes pictures of ravens and other birds, leading to the secret underground tunnels that connect to the lake. And somehow the Hardy Boys are there. I don't know, maybe they like swimming in the lake. Secret of Blackmore at the Waters Legend. That's just a bunch of random words thrown together, they don't make sense. Okay, so let's say... A Japanese museum is home to the legendary Blackmore Diamond. Nancy tries to protect it, but it's stolen by a yurei and a person in a bunny costume. Nancy has to play pachinko against Jane Penvelin to get a crystal skull, which hides the major clue. Finally, Malloy treasure at Waverly. Nancy's friend Kyler is planning to get married to Matt when she learns about the family curse. She'll be haunted by a banshee forever if she doesn't get married with the family's traditional veil. The problem is that the veil disappeared a hundred years ago when Brendan Malloy's wife was attending Waverly Academy. Nancy goes to Waverly and solves an old series of puzzles to find the veil. Okay, that just sounds like warnings at Waverly Academy, except the backstory is all about Castle Malloy. Alright, so that's the last game on my list. I hope you enjoyed this silly attempt at making randomized Nancy Drew games. Uh, leave a comment! Just, just let me know which of these games you'd like, or if there are any other Nancy Drew games you want to see me try to mash up together, which you think would work super well, or something like that. Thanks for watching! <laughs> Bye!